Listen, I was debating about reacting to this video only because I know that they're on good terms, so I don't know what this video is gonna be about. Maybe explaining her side of the situation or maybe to shut people down a little bit. Everybody's got something to say about their relationship and how they're dealing with things together and without each other. When you're in a relationship and you're on YouTube, you're on a platform where everyone is witnessing it all. And remember, you're only watching minutes on a video, okay? You're not in their relationship. You're not behind closed doors when they're alone together. We're just gonna go ahead and react to this video because um, I haven't reacted to J-Vibes yet. And because of J-Vibes, I got a lot of subscribers on this channel. So I'm gonna return the favor and react to one of her videos as she did with mine. I will say this, I do have my own opinions. Doesn't mean I do not support her. It does not mean that I don't like her. I am very honest, very blunt, very straightforward. I don't sugarcoat anything. Now, I don't know her on a personal level, but when you care about somebody or if you're cool with somebody, you wanna be honest with them. That's the truth, what a true friend is. I know a lot of you guys are uh, supporters of hers, so if I say something that's against um, the way you think or the way she thinks, I'm not apologizing. I have my own thoughts and I'm gonna speak on it. But we're gonna go ahead and watch this video. It's about her ex and y'all know who that is. Nick G, the host, and I support them both, by the way. Okay, so basically, background on this. Uh, Nick G on Royalties World actually uh, made a video called A Letter to My Ex. J Vibes did this video titled Responding to My Ex. I said what I said, big period, okay? I did see uh, Royalties World's uh, video, but I'm gonna go ahead and watch hers and see what she has to say about it. Stop trying to start stuff. Stop, it's lame. I love her. And if you think this is a video to bash her, it's not. So if that what you were looking for, take your ass on, okay? Take your ass on, cause I'm not bashing her. I'm not that out the list. Now, I know it's real when I got my notebook and my picture. You used to always bring up this whole age thing. Just like she's bringing up this retrograde bullshit. What I wasn't going to do, okay? I was not about to. And I literally, let me let me say what I said. This is where she had me fucked up at. She was like, Randy Ridge, you know what I'm saying? Right now, that broke me. I was like, oh, 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 oh. We need to address this because I ain't going to be doing all these responding videos and you ain't about to be calling me out talking about some letter to my ex because this is a response to my ex. I don't fear no man. Hey. God, amen. Okay. Ain't no looking back but looking back. Almost gave my pops a damn heart attack. I started that. I ended that before the rap. These bitches. What's going on, J Squad? Plum Squad. It's your girl, J. You already know. Welcome back to J Vibes. Where's a whole lot, lot of vibes, vibes going, going on. on you already know what this video is about because you read the title and you were expecting me to respond and I said what I said when I said that I was gonna respond, okay? <laughs> now before we get into this video, please make sure you are subscribed to my channels, okay? I do have two YouTube channels, this is my main channel, I also have a fitness channel. J By the way, she has not, from the videos that I've seen and I've been out of the loop for the past week, but from the videos that I've seen, she has not really talked too much about her relationship with Nikji and the breakup, really, necessarily. So this is the first time I'm gonna see her actually say something about it. Make sure you get your tickets, you guys. Make sure you pull up to the party and help us celebrate her birthday. Now, also like this video, okay? If I can get like 500 likes, we just gonna, me and me, me and Royalty's world, we gonna have to have a sit down, like face to face, side by side, and we gonna have to address all these underlining, whatever you wanna call them, issues, problems, retrograde bullshit, together, okay? <laughs> 500 likes, we'll do that. Comment down below, also share this video, you guys. Now let's just get into the video. Now, let me just tell you something. Whenever you're responding to a video, I need you to go get a notebook. I need you to go get a notebook, go get a pen, and write some notes because I would hate to miss anything because there's a whole lot that need to be said. I'm gonna say it all on here and it's probably gonna be some things I'm gonna say that she never hear me say before if she watch it. I don't know, I ain't doing this for you, I'm doing this for y'all, I'm doing this for me. Okay, now, girl. At the end of the day, they squad some squad. Say I it. Love her. 
And if you think this is a video to bash her, it's not. So that what you were looking for? Take your ass off. Okay? Take your ass off. Cause I'm not bashing her. I'm not about to talk negative of her. And that's grown stuff, okay? When you're grown and you deal with the breakup, act grown about it. There's no need for the bashing. Things just didn't work out, and it is what it is. So, go ahead and say what you gotta say. None of that whack ass shit, okay? I'm gonna be real, I'm gonna keep it where I am in Aquarius, so you already know the vibes, you know the vibes with me. So, boom, my response. First of all, first things first, uh, let's just be exact. We've been broken up for about going on eight weeks. But who's counting? I don't know. <laughs> Second of all, I'm on this. I That's a short time, by the way. I've been getting crazy comments, crazy questions all the time. Literally, the last time I came live, T gossip, gossip T. It's crazy that I, I remember, but you was going back and forth between my live, Neek live, and you was coming on my live just starting shit, saying, you know what I'm saying? She was on her live talking bad about me, you know? And you know what I'm saying? My real friends, my real supporters, my genuine, you know, so all that. It was like, she's not talking bad about you. Stop trying to start stuff. Stop. It's lame. I do not address her. And that's funny because I've actually, if y'all recognize me, I actually um, went on live with her on Instagram. We talked for a little bit. And we communicated before um, about promotions and all that. And she's promoted my video and everything like that. So I really appreciate the love. Um, but there was one live that she was on and I did say something like, um, like, are you guys going to be comfortable being at the same place? If someone was to hit on Nick G or someone was to hit on you, I said something like that. And I know, I, I have a feeling that she did read it, but she like, she dodged it. You know, she dodged that shit. She did not want to answer that. I think it kind of irked her or annoyed her a little bit. But hey, you know, I'm human. I, I'm kind of curious. I want to know how you would react to it if someone was to hit on her. I don't know. You never know. Because you do still got that love for each other, you know? For the most part, like nine times out of ten, for a reason because if you know me, you know the vibe, you know her, you know the vibe. If you know what's really going on, then you know what's really going on, you know what's up. You know, for people to be asking, like, did y'all go together? Are you not together? Did you move? Are you not staying with her anymore? Like, does this look like the, the apartment? Does it but girl, some people want to know because they want to hook up with you. <laughs> okay, they want to know, if, is you single? Because if you are, well, let me holler at you real quick, okay? Some people are on that type of level, okay? Any of my videos are like, I'm in an apartment. I'm not. Okay, with that being said, you know what I'm saying? There's a whole lot of great vibes going on, but period, you guys. We've been broken up for like eight weeks to be exact, you know? Who's counting? Not me. So, boom, let me mark all of this off the list because I'm, I'm going through it. Before I get into any type of storyline, I just want to say that we all go through things. All of us go through things. Tanika has taught me so freaking much because, you know what I'm saying, let her tell you, you know what I'm saying, when she met me, I was 19, you know what I'm saying, she was 24. She was a year younger than what I am now. Anywho, so she like really helped me with like understanding yeah you may be going through something but don't make it don't make your situation worse by overly stressing overly worrying about it getting right. mad and, and ain't trying to fix it you know what i'm saying Sh shutting down and giving everybody your ass to kiss basically like she taught me a lot so you know with whatever that we go through and yeah we're human you know we're gonna catch that attitude of course be quiet for the day you know <laughs> we're gonna look upset you know we're gonna miss a, a few meals because of, of stress we're gonna drink some alcohol because of we blessed when we just gonna do you know what i'm saying what humans do because we are human but at the end of the day i really feel like it's just all about picking yourself up in your mess getting through your shit whatever you're going through get through that haven't I been saying that? Whatever you're going through, get through it. It ain't no, oh, I'm going through this. I'm running to the left, to the right. Even if you're running ahead of yourself, but you kind of like, you know, okay, that don't even make sense. Running backwards, <laughs> just running all these kind of situations, but going through your, and you know what I'm saying? Just being responsible, having ownership. I got your... And let those struggles... Let those struggles teach you a lesson. Don't let it make you bitter. Let it make you become a better person. On my face, I was answering But being responsible, having accountability of your shit, yeah. and being an adult, yeah. and handling things as such. Mm. So, okay, boom. Y'all know it's real when I got my notebook out. Okay, so boom. Let me just run through how we met and just how we met, how we ended up 
up together, how we ended up living together, and then we're going to we're gonna talk about the present and the now. I met Tanika at the end of 2013. I met her at Chipotle, and it's crazy how God works in mysterious ways, and everything happens for a reason. You need to know that, and when you believe that, I promise you things going to happen for the greater purpose. You just got to stay strong, keep your faith, stay prayed up. Have all the great vibes going on, big period. And yeah, so met her in 2013 at Chipotle. Um, I was actually going to college in Greensboro at this different tech community. It's a community college. I was going, I was going to community college in Greensboro. Uh, literally went there for a semester, and you know my roommate. <laughs> what happened, was girl? Up and I didn't want to snatch. Oh, is that right? Up. So you know what I'm saying? My daddy was like, you need to come home. And I was like, <laughs> by this time, we was rekindling our relationship. That was like the start of us rekindling our relationship. So my daddy got me a car. Well, I knew it was already in my car, but he was holding it hostage because we had fell out. But he kept the car. And then, you know what I'm saying? We just started <laughs> Holding it hostage. He the car. So you know what I'm saying? I used that car, packed my shit, and went to Charlotte. Because by that time, my dad was living in Charlotte. Now, this is my first time in Charlotte. Like, I've been in and out going to Concord Mail, like going to the malls, but I never like actually went on main streets, houses, apartments, the hood, the suburbs, the good, the bad, the, all that, I, I ain't never been to that so. Okay, so I'm sitting at the crib, you know, I feel like, you know, a bitch is, I feel, I feel good, you know, I felt good. I was in a non-stressful environment, you know, I had my space because my dad went to work, it was just me, you know, so. Definitely take in my mornings, you know, you know, roll a little something up, go back, yep, go on the patio, yep, smoke, <laughs> Instagram picture, it, childish as hell. But I, I was doing that. It's alright. And then one day I was like, okay, bitch, you're bored. I'm bored. I need something to do. I needed a job. Now I had just got put on to Chipotle in Greensboro by my best friend. Shout out to you, baby. Okay, and I was like, I don't want to eat that. So I wasn't really going out for a job. I was just going out for like, eat <laughs> This girl was so, hungry. Boom. Like when you got when you come out my apartment where well, you gotta get in the car back up, boom, then you gotta make that rent right, then you out of the bitch. But you know what I'm saying? You really still stuck in the woods. So then I had to make another right go down that way and then I was like, oh my god, did I just go from the woods to the hood? So then I gotta take another <laughs> right and I get to the light, then I had to make another this right and I go all the way down there. Then I GPS at Chipotle and I could even went left or I could have went right. I looked to my right, it was looking like By the way, I was just looking at myself on the screen and I saw my braces. Guess what, y'all? I'm getting my braces taken out in two weeks. Two motherfucking weeks, okay? So I'm excited. I've been having it for a year and nine months now, so I'm so excited because they're gonna be taken off before the wedding. I'm gonna look nice, okay? Like, I was about to go into a Mexican town, hood, village. I looked to my left, it was like escape, 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 and ahead of me was the highway, but Chipotle wasn't ahead of me. So I'm like, you know what, let me just go to the left. So I went to the left, went to Chipotle. At this time, Tanika was not there. Uh, well, she wasn't working that day. So, you know, I'm in the line, everybody's in my face. Cause, you know, new face, they ain't never seen me before. My first time going to this restaurant, and I, I, you know, I was beautiful. <laughs> I had I was beautiful. Okay, girl. Everybody was in my face trying to make my food, and I'm like, okay, I don't need all these hands on my food. That's the end of the day. Y'all, bear with me. I'm gonna get to the story. So, I got the job. Make a long story short, you know what I'm saying? Working with Tanika, working on her shift. She's the manager, you know what I'm saying? She got all these flirtatious, playful conversations. You know, just playing with a nigga. And at the time, I was in a relationship. So, when I'm in a relationship, I don't do too much entertaining now. So that's the story, because I heard Neek's side of the story. So Neek was spitting a little bit of game, okay? And she was taken by the way at the time too. From what I know is that their partners were cheating on them. So Neek was over here, you know, spitting a little game on somebody, okay? If I'm not getting entertained, that's a problem, because now it's not like I'm looking for it, but you know what I'm saying, well, however it comes, it comes, and I'm gonna crave it at the end of the day, so you know what I'm saying, I'm gonna bite back and play with you, but you know what I'm saying, you ain't gonna get too far if I just already have this certain type of mindset, so whatever, you know what I'm saying, she already spoke on it, bitches was cheating, you know, she had a situation at home that I later found out about, I had a situation, you know, bitches was cheating, they was cheating, and it was just kind of like, I mean, you know, we always buy ourselves. We might as well. That's what I'm saying. Like, if 
if y'all know that y'all y'all partners are messing on you, right? They're doing their own thing already, leaving you neglected, okay? And you, and then you have both of you together already and talking and venting and laying shit out. You're gonna eventually hook up. That's just what it is. And guess whose fault that is? Their partners. They shouldn't have neglected them. That's what happens. But things happen for a reason. Occupied each other's time. So okay, fast forward. Then New Year's. We brought in together New Year's 2014. In a relationship, y'all. How are you in a relationship? You not bringing in New Year's with your bitch? Yeah, that's they crazy. Gonna cheat. It's cool because for you know sure. what I'm I brought, a, I brought my, new, my New Year's in on my back, child. On my back, singing to Jesus. <laughs> so it was just took. Okay. <laughs> A lot, a lot, a lot. And my previous relationship, I was in that relationship for about five years. So, long time. You know, it would be time when me and Tanika was chilling, and, you know, she would have these confession moments of, you know, how much she liked me and how she wanted to be with me. And I was just scared. I was scared because that was a, Tanika's a whole different type of breed. Okay? <laughs> A whole different breed, you know. Not only that, I just knew what goes into a relationship, so I was just scared of not being the woman that I was meant to be and supposed to be for her and who I should have been for myself because I was just broken, okay? Broken, but not, you know, crybaby ass bitch broken. I was like savage broken. At that time, I was just a whole lot of Gucci, a whole lot of Gucci, a whole lot of young thugs. Whole lot, a whole lot of hood shit, and I had a sister in my car. I was on some hood shit, so <laughs> I was like just being savage mode, okay. And then, they, like, here you come with these feelings, and it's like, oh shit, no, I'm not trying to feel. But you know, you cannot deny the chemistry that we always had for one another. We had strong chemistry. I mean, everybody else, uh, I'm not gonna say our friends. That's what I miss about them. I feel like I got. I got... I got really into Royalty's World's videos. I really um, enjoyed Nikji reacting to a lot of videos. And then when J Vibes got involved with that, it was like, they had such a great chemistry and you can see them in the videos. And they're just so much fun together. I don't know, it's like, I, I support them each individually, but at the same time, it's not the same like how it was. And maybe that's why I don't watch their videos as much. But I, mean, I still support, but man, I don't know. Their chemistry was so cool together. I mean, we'll see what happens with them, you know? Because I don't have friends. All of her friends like, y'all should really be together. Y'all always together. Y'all y'all know y'all like each other. And we just look at each other like, ah. Okay, so boom. <sighs> Tanika ended up, you know, doing this confession stuff. And then all of a sudden, you know what I'm saying, we was somewhere together. And baby girl had somebody with her. Ooh. And that just made me feel all type of ways. I was Ooh. like, oh, you tried it. You really tried it. She did try it, because I, I don't know. Even though they're not together, I find it disrespectful. Like, you know I'm the one you, that you want to be with, and you've confessed this to me, and we've been kicking it, right? But then here we are together, and you brought somebody else? Like, God damn, Nick. What were you thinking? You know, like, and then to make the matters worse, Tanika literally came to me because we was all in this party setting. It was it was her party. We was all there. She came to me and was like, you know, do you you hungry? And I was like, yeah, I'm hungry. Y'all know I love food. So she told me, like, you hungry? I'm like, yeah, I'm hungry. So then she was like, I'm hungry. She says it all angry. Yeah, I'm hungry. You already know this. Are you gonna give me some food? Are you gonna give it to me or what? I tell you, baby girl, never come back because she was sitting at the restaurant with that thought. And that's why I hear her up, like, you know, you left your stuff here uh. at the party. It was her mic. She was like, okay, can you just, well, I wasn't talking like that, but I was, I was upset. <laughs> we were really texting, but all of my attitude was in my words. She was like, you know what I'm saying? She bring it up. So I'm like, where you at? She was literally <laughs> up the street. Child, I was up there. She gonna have the nerve to ask me to sit down and, 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 and eat across the table from the thought and her. And I wasn't doing that. Like, you, you really tried. Yeah, that's crazy. Damn, Nick. Like, like, bitch, you think I am? Like I'm that, Nick. So, boom. Story, you know what I'm saying? It came down to I had a confess, uh, I had a confess, you know what I'm saying? I want feeling that, you know, I like you and all this other stuff like that. And ended up going together. Right? Ended up going together, even though I wasn't necessary for it when she was doing all her confession stuff. It's like, damn bitch, like what you gonna do with these feelings though? You know what I'm saying? You're gonna like try It's not only that girl, you saw her with somebody else and you realized that damn I really do like this girl and I can lose 
the opportunity be of being with her to somebody else if I don't take that chance. And you took it. You took that chance. Try to go savage mode times two on, on, on her ass, or you know what I'm saying? You just going, shit, give it a try. Give it a try. Living with my father. At this time, um, I was doing a lot of back and forth from my dad's house to Tanika's apartment. My dad, like, we would spend so much time together, it would get like two o'clock, three o'clock in the morning, and you know, that's when, you know, she was trying to lay it down and I had to make a decision, like, bitch, you gonna lay down too or you gonna go home? And I was like, damn, that's a 30 minute, almost a 30 minute drive. Really like 20 or 25 minutes. But that was a long freaking drive. So I'm like, I'ma just stay. So it just got to the point. <laughs> it is when you're tired. So much. She was just like, you need to bring you over a, like a, a bag of some clothes so you can stop. Because literally I'll have like the wake up you know, put back on the same clothes. I'll be my girl did the same thing to me when we first started dating. I had my own apartment. This girl started coming over little by little on her own, free will, without saying a word, she was leaving things behind. <laughs> she left her toothbrush, she left her shampoo, her conditioner, her towel. She was leave leaving little things every day that she came over. And I'm like, okay, I get it. You you want to come live with me, girl? Then come live with me. Just come. Wearing her, wearing child, wearing her drawers to bed because a bitch had to take a shower because you already know, you know what I'm saying? So then, you know, you just got to tell Puma, like, you need to bring a bag over here. A bag turned into, you know what I'm saying? You need to bring a few outfits. You know, <laughs> just a, a outfit for a week, you know, a week some time. Did that. Then it got to the point where, you know, she was making sacrifices in her life and, you know, really going forward with the whole entrepreneurship life that, you know, we came to agreement that, you know, it only made sense, you know, since we work at the same job, we, we go everywhere together, we do this, we do that, you know, let's just break it down to, you know, one transportation. So, we was helping each other out. So at that, that point, I'm like, yeah, daddy, I'm, I don't even know how I told him, but I got all my shit. <laughs> all my shit, moved in. Boom. Bam. So girl, but you, okay, you're about to cross that out, but you didn't tell us what time that was. Like, was it months later? Was it a year later? Was it, give us some time, girl, so I can figure this out in my head. <laughs> All right, so that's how we start living together. Now let's get into this everything, everything else. So yes, when she met me, I was 19. She was about 24, now I'm 25. Now she's about to be whatever the case may be. Right? And Tanika, for a while, used to always bring up this whole age thing. Just like she's bringing up this retrograde bullshit. And it just kind of like... By the way, I still don't know what the hell retrograde is. Nick didn't really describe it that well. And I still don't understand what the hell she's talking about. Like, bro, you know my age. <laughs> when you met with me. Yes, the retrograde is different. By the way, okay, so she was 19 and... and Nick was 25, right? Is that what she said? That is a big age difference when one of when one of you is only 19 years old. You're still a teen, yo. And you're still like trying to even in your 20s you're trying to figure out life, even in your 30s. But 19, it's like you're not even trying to figure it out yet. You're just trying to enjoy life at the moment. So at 25, I think Nick was trying to figure out what she wanted in life. And now, and, and so there is a big difference, a big gap there when they first started dating. But now, now that she's tw now she's 25 and Nick is in her 30s, it's like, no, it's not that big of a difference. Like she's gotten, she's gone through her experiences already in her mid 20s. I don't know the age thing. I don't know. I feel like the age thing is kind of a cop out, but that's just me. Friend, but you know, okay, so that was the age stuff out of the window, and I'm very mature for my age. I've always got that. She's and she is. Up. She we. Have and the thing is too, Nick. Um, it's okay, and I'm not trying to put words in your mouth or anything like that. It's okay if you're still trying to figure yourself out, and you're still trying to figure out what you want in life, and what goals you're trying to accomplish and you're trying to reach them and if you feel like being in a relationship is a distraction to that it's okay to like separate yourself from that and it's okay to take that little break while you focus on yourself but this whole age thing i don't know about that i i don't know i don't see that
being the problem. We had mutual friends, her friends. I was like, you are very mature for your age. Thank you. She is, Nick um, is. My dad used to be in the Navy, so I'm I mean, like, I guess you can say I'm a military Jay. child, so I have like a lot of structure, uh, discipline, just in my life. Like, out of all my siblings, I, I'm going to pat myself in the back. I'm the most organized and most level-minded person. I mean, we all are smart on our, on our, you know what I'm saying, different ways. Like, my brother is very freaking smart. Uh, he had the opportunity to graduate early with his class. My little sister is very smart and very different, okay? My older sister is very smart, but she got a whole lot of degree from college. Okay. On some health mm. shit. Mm. Smart. Is uh -huh. Yeah. Um. Crossing out. I'm smart, bitch. <laughs> this whole like whatever I'm about to go through she's already been through it and I didn't necessarily understand it all the time when she used to bring it up then and I'm not gonna say I understand I don't get that though like at, when you're already an adult and you're mid-20s on Everyone goes through experiences. They all go through different experiences. I probably have gone through more experiences than someone in their 40s or, or vice versa. Everyone's life experiences are different. I understand it all the time now because it's just like somebody had to deal with you when you were going through it. So don't try to like not really. I'm not saying she's brushing you off to the side, but don't try to like quote unquote my situation as if like I'm going to do some weird shit. And she never made me feel like I'm going through nothing by myself. She definitely made me feel like, you know, what you're going through, I've gone through it too. But it was just kind of like I just always felt like, you know, what well, shit, just let me go through it. Like, let me go through it in the most healthiest way that I can. I don't know. She mentioned, you know, that obviously with her past relationship, you know, she was in this apartment. They were not, or they were together. A bit, of, of course, they were together in this apartment, her and her ex, and then they eventually, not when I had ex, her ex, ex, because I'm her ex, but <laughs> they ended up being together in this apartment, and then they ended up not being together but still in the apartment so you know what i'm saying that still affects i don't care what nobody said i know it affected her and it affected the xx so just watching that person come and go as they please you really can't question them on what they doing where they going you know what i'm saying they come back happy with food with flowers with you know I'm some, some new <laughs> this girl's always hungry you heard that little mistake she said she, she meant to say flowers but she said food hold on let me run that real quick because that was funny saying they come back happy with food with flowers with, you know <laughs> some, some new clothes and new drawers and you know new smell new and there's new 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 that new new that'll make somebody feel some type of way so she mentioned that you know what i'm saying she was you know in that situation because she necessarily couldn't just get up and leave although she wanted to break the lease she couldn't just fucking leave so with this breakup this one not the not the one last year during the same time period. It's fucking crazy. But this one, this year, um, y'all, so much fucking stuff went through my head, um, with this last breakup. And I was really like, like she say, I'm about to go through something that she necessarily went through herself. You ain't gonna go through it like me though, baby, because you know what I'm saying. I'm an Aquarius, you're a Leo. Uh, I'm just two, 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 I'm two, two, two. So everyone's different. Not everyone's gonna deal with things the same way. I wish she think her way, we do stuff I wish she, I mean, I do some I wish she do stuff her way. Whatever. So, on this last breakup, I'm just like, oh, okay, cool. But what I'm not gonna do, and what ain't gonna happen, and, and I was just like standing my ground, putting my foot down, just, you know, being this butterfly. <laughs> and I loved it, like it felt good This to, girl just went on, you know, make it this She went from rowdy to like chill Decision and not try to have my emotions attached Or make have like my emotions like Keep me somewhere Because what I wasn't gonna do Okay I was not about to And I literally, let me, let me say what I said I was not about to put myself in any Familiar situation That she lived in Or that I knew about and that just speaks for itself. Like, I don't want to put her in a situation where, you know what I'm saying, it's like the past. Like, how are you growing? You know what I'm saying? If I if I allow myself to, oh, well, this is what you used to, or I know that you used to do this with them. So, first of all, ain't nobody trying to be like nobody ex 
no ain't nobody trying to repeat no cycle so you know what i'm saying it, it had to be something different you know and even if she still felt like still you know we're in this lease together i can't just up and leave you know thank god that i had somewhere to come to so when i packed up my shit and don't get me wrong y'all we like she said, we, we had our moments of going and, you know, doing the whole back and forth stuff. And I packed my car before and went to my dad's. And my dad literally be like, you sure you're staying this time? I'm like, yeah, I'm staying. I'm not going back. I can't stay up. All that stuff. But when I packed my car this time, I knew I wasn't going back. I know I'm not going back. Because it's just like, it's not fair. It ain't fair to you. It ain't fair to me. And it just speak for itself. I'm not putting myself in no familiar situation. Right on her behalf or nothing I'm not gonna settle on my behalf okay remember that boom and maybe you need maybe they just need this time apart while they figure themselves out a little bit I'm 34 years old and I'm I'm going through it too okay to the point where I had to go to therapy to like let some feelings out for my own self to make to make sure that my relationship is good I had to work on myself and what I was going through that I never let out. It's okay to soul search. And then maybe one of these days when both of y'all are ready, y'all can come back together. And if not, it's okay too. Remain friends if you want. So let's talk about the, the, the past versus the present. So let's talk about the past retrograde to be exact. And let's talk about the present retrograde. When we broke up last year, y'all, I was so fucking weak. It, it hit me out of nowhere. I did not expect it. It was humiliating as fuck, okay? And like she came to me, you know what I'm saying? Like, you know, she was gonna do the YouTube video, do the Instagram post, you know, just to let, you know, our supporters and subscribers know that we aren't together so that for any reason, and this is what she had me fucked up at. She was like, for any reason, you know what I'm saying? They see me out with whoever, y'all, she was trying it. If they see me out with whoever, you know what I'm saying, they're not thinking that I'm, I'm, whatever, like. So I get, okay, I get what she's about to get to. I get what she's about to say. It didn't make it seem like she broke up with her to have her fun. <laughs> I'm assuming that's what she was thinking, like, God damn, why you gotta say all that, you know? Like, it was not making no sense, you know what I'm saying? So, right there. Yeah. That broke me. I was like, oh. <laughs> oh, I would have thought the same whoa, thing. Whoa, whoa, whoa. And you know what I'm saying? I mean, the post. Y'all remember her post? I made her take that shit down because that shit used to hurt my motherfucking soul. Do you hear me? But, and child, my cuss words, I, I don't care. Okay? <laughs> it was, I'm single. And them red, big ass words. I was, and then there was this long ass paragraph at the bottom. I'm just, I'm like, you are fucking trying it. So, you know. She did her YouTube video. I actually did a YouTube video too, but I didn't see it. This was when I was like, this is when I was, you know, still dipping into my the inner rapper in me. So at the end of my video, I like inserted. Uh, this is when Nicki Minaj came out with her recent album, and I had like, uh, I had a snippet of her song at the end of my video, and I think I had like her instrumental. As my background music, so YouTube ended up blocking it. It's actually oh, still on my channel. I, I might put a little snippet up the clip. Oh, I didn't see that. But y'all, I was ugly as fuck. I didn't crying, see that. looking stupid, looking just looking crazy, looking weak. Like, and that that I can like, y'all, me even just talking about it, it's like that shit happened yesterday. Cause I know how I felt. I felt so hurt. I'm, I, girl, I was waking up every day drinking wine in a hot car. Like, I was just leaving just to not be there. You know, I was just doing a whole bunch of irrational shit. But it made me feel good for the moment. I wasn't doing nothing to get a reaction out of her because, I mean, she said what she has said. Okay? But it was very humiliating. So, let's fast forward to this retrograde. You know, I'm feeling pretty damn fucking confident. Only because it's just kind of like, you know, you just get fed up with certain stuff. You just get fed up, you know, it's just like, you know what? I'm going to let you have that. You calling the shots? I don't know what happened to the rest of the clip, but I love and support Tanika always. 
<laughs> what happened? I want to know what the rest okay, of the Okay, I had to change my battery, but like I said, it's going to be the last thing that I speak about. So I know this video is getting lengthy, but I want to make sure that I said everything that I had said, and that's just that on that, and I said what I said. Big period. There's still a whole lot of great vibes going on. Do not get it confused, but yeah, like with titles, I just feel like it's deeper than the whole putting a title, like girlfriend, boyfriend, because a lot of times, like, don't let me and somebody that I've been rocking with for a long time, yeah, we got great vibes, great sex, and all this other stuff, right? But don't let us get into a disagreement. Don't let it be a back and forth. Don't let you be so upset, and you know what I'm saying, to a point where you go out and you drinking and then all this temptation because the devil be busy. So don't let the devil sneak up on you at your weakest uh, moments or when it's least suspected and then some shit happens uh, and then you wake up and then you contemplate with yourself. It's like Jesus and the devil and it's kind of like, well, you know, I mean, it ain't no title. I mean, we really don't go together. You know, you're trying to justify the bad shit that you just put yourself into but it's kind of like it's just it's just deeper than that so you know no titles aren't necessarily needed to be put on someone immediately but after a certain time i need to know what are we working on or am i just doing it by myself because if it is that tell me something and i'm wasting my time <laughs> right. it's just deeper than that to right me. like i said i don't want this video to be too, too now i'm on the same page with her like <sighs> Everyone, every couple is different. If you don't want the title, that's fine. If you do, that's fine. But you have to be on the same page with things. At least have that communication, that open communication about where you're both at. You still want to respect each other if that's the case. If you really do love each other, you want to make sure that that respect is there. And if you're ready to move forward with them again, make sure you're on the same page. And if not, again, make sure you're on the same page and go your separate ways. Too long i can definitely go into more depth on the title video if you want that as well and if you don't then this what it is but i do need you guys to please get this video at least to 500 likes five zero zero so that i can call a meeting with your favorite host world to world aka okay. you did a host unit yes that's fine for her or i'll go oh something okay we need to address this because i ain't gonna be they should. You know what? I, I haven't seen a couple do this. I think that's a good idea. They're obviously on good terms. I mean, they're kicking it with each other. Whatever the hell they, they're doing together. They're doing something. They're probably sleeping together. Whatever. I don't know. But I think it'll be a great idea to have a video together where they're actually talking to each other openly about where they're at. You know what I mean? Mentally. Physically. Spiritually. And just as if the camera's not even there. You know what you know what couples do when they're trying to figure things out together? They should do a video like that. I think that'd be pretty interesting. And that's just me being nosy too, I ain't gonna lie. Doing all these responding videos and you ain't about to be calling me out talking about some letter to my ex because this is a response <laughs> to my ex. Now I hope that you enjoy this video. <laughs> like this video. <clears throat> Shit. Hey damn girl. I had some yogurt. Okay. Make sure that you are subscribed to my channel. Okay, I am going to put a little video clip here on the most easiest way for you to get to my fitness YouTube channel, J Fitness Guys. Please subscribe. All right, so I'm gonna end the video there because this video was long. It's uh, 30 minutes long, and which makes my video even longer. So I apologize for it being this long, but hey, I know y'all are subscribed to her too. Okay, so you support J Vibes. Y'all support me, then we're good. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe, and make sure you turn on that bell so you can get notified every time I upload. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel that I have with my girl, Bliss and Pris. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you in the next video. Peace.